पनीर स्पेगेटी फिंगर्स Hi welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana this is Sonika and today the recipe that we're making is a starter recipe that is called paneer spaghetti fingers let's take a look at the ingredients we need to make this grated cottage cheese or paneer boiled and grated potatoes boiled spaghetti corn flour coriander powder cumin powder finely chopped green chilies black pepper powder red chilli powder chopped parsley salt chopped coriander leaves oil So the recipe that we're making today is a paneer spaghetti finger and I've got all my ingredients prepped in advance the recipe should get done pretty quickly so let's start making the recipe so I've got this large mixing bowl so let's take the boiled and grated potatoes in this bowl to this let's add in the grated paneer and we'll just give this a mix once and now we can start adding our spices so we'll start with some red chili powder the amount of red chili powder you can alter depending upon how spicy you want your dish next we'll add in the coriander or the dhania powder so heap spoonful of this some jeera or cumin powder we'll add some very finely chopped green chilies we'll add some salt for seasoning Next we'll add some fresh coriander that's been finely chopped. So a bunch full of this. And now we're going to mix all of this nicely. Now I'm going to use my hands to bring all of this together. We've got our ingredients for the paneer spaghetti fingers nicely combined. And now we can start shaping them into fingers. And you must be wondering that these are called paneer spaghetti fingers and we haven't used the spaghetti yet. That suspense is just about to end. So what we're going to do now since I've got one finger over here, I might as well show you how we're going to use the spaghetti in this recipe. So I'm going to take a couple of strands of spaghetti. We're going to pick out some of the longer strands so it's easy for us to drip. and i'm going to roll these around the fingers and then just slightly reshape them a little more so they are nicely stuck onto the paneer fingers and we want to wrap these around like this and then just slightly tuck it in or press it into the finger you just need to ensure that both the ends of the spaghetti are inside the paneer fingers so that they don't come out later So like this and we're going to tuck this inside and just shape them again a little bit. So here we've got a paneer finger that has been tightly wrapped in some spaghetti. Now let's put these aside and do the same with the others. We've coated our paneer fingers with some spaghetti and you can see how gorgeous this looks already. And we've got some oil that is heating up in which we're going to fry these. But before that, we're going to make a corn flour mixture in which we're going to dip these rolls before frying them. So let's get some corn flour in a bowl. and we're doing this just to ensure that our spaghetti and paneer rolls are nice and tight when they stay inside and don't disintegrate to this i'm going to just add some salt so we don't have a bland covering a little bit of crushed black pepper or black pepper powder and a little bit of fresh parsley now the parsley provides those green specks of gorgeousness in this dish and also a lot of flavor now let's mix all of this So we got our mixture ready and our oil is heated up. Now let's dip these in the corn flour. And we'll dust off the excess flour and keep these aside. Our oil is gone nice and hot and we've coated all of our paneer spaghetti rolls. Let's dip these in the oil now. And now we're going to fry these on a medium flame till the spaghetti goes golden brown and crunchy. We don't need to be worried about cooking a lot of the ingredients because we've used grated paneer, we've used boiled potatoes and boiled spaghetti. So in a couple of minutes our dish should be perfectly ready. Our paneer spaghetti rolls like you can see are nicely fried. They seem pretty perfectly done to me, so I'm going to get them out an absorbent paper before we can serve them. 
if you're non-vegetarian, you could make this recipe using mince. But I assure you that the paneer tastes just as good. Another thing that you need to keep in mind while frying these is you don't need to overhandle it when it's in the pan because you don't want the spaghetti and the paneer fingers to disintegrate. And move towards plating our paneer and spaghetti fingers. Paneer spaghetti fingers, an exotic looking and beautiful to taste recipe with some really simple ingredients. This could turn into one of your favorite snacks.